All right. So, <clears throat> still kind of frozen. Chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. I'm gonna marinate them. And this is just gonna be a play by your kind of recipe because I don't know what I'm doing with them. I just know I have to eat. So I'm gonna be stuck at work, so this is gonna be a meal that I'm making tonight to eat for the next two nights, probably. And then is lunch in the middle of my break at work. So, yay! Chicken. Good. Well, I move my tea first because God knows I don't want chicken juice in my tea. Da, 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 da. I was brew my brew my tea leaves twice. This is green tea. Do I have it out still? I do. It's this stuff. Korean wujon. No 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 no. Green tea. I need my tea for now and let it cool off anyway. Okay. Chicken. It's still kinda of frozen, so I guess after I separate it it'll be easier to deal with anyway. Start defrosting more. I bought new scissors finally. I never had kitchen scissors. I left them at home and then eh, they were kind of old and dull anyway, so I got new kitchen scissors. These are the Kershaw Task, Mask Task Masters. Made in Japan. So. The same ones I owned before, but they're shiny and new. Separate out our. It's doing a C-section. If anyone out there is a parent and has either seen a C-section or had one performed on them or just happened to work in the medical field and see C-sections, this is pretty much what it looks like, but worse. Oh my god. C-sections are brutal. Fun fact, 98% of our viewership is men. 99% of our subscribers are men. So, hello men. Lucky you will never have to have a C-section. Ever. Bastards. Chicken, which I've just touched with my bare hands, so I now have to wash my hands in my dirty ass sink. Yes, I know I have to wash dishes. Especially since I'm not going to be home for, oh, I don't know, two days. So. Ah. One. My whole kitchen's kind of a clusterfuck at the moment. So I worked a lot, and then I had my birthday, and then I was busy, and then I worked a lot, and now I'm here. And I'm gonna be stuck at work forever, so. <sighs> the apartment's falling to pieces around me, but it's okay. Because I'll have food. A little sesame oil. Ah, toasty. Luckily, I'm not allergic to sesame oil. No seeds at all, actually. Just nuts and peanuts and chickpeas, which are legumes like peanuts. This is mirin. It smells alcoholic and it's kind of sweet. That's how you make teriyaki. It's one of the things in teriyaki sauce. Sriracha duh. Oops. Just a bit. No. Retarded moments. <sighs> this is shiramiso. It's soybean paste, so it basically tastes like soy sauce, but in a paste form. Mhm. Mm it's got a more I don't know. It's got a it's got a nicer taste than soy sauce, in my opinion. Ha! Get off, you bastard! It's gonna need more fluid in here to. This is gonna get marinated, and then I'm going to probably stir fry it with whatever vegetables I have lying around in my fridge. And then I'm going to eat over rice. Bunch of garlic. Okay. Salt and pepper. Or as the salt guy goes, Fancy man. So many views for salt. Clean hands. Apply to chicken. Mm. 
Mm. Salmonella. <laughs> the cola and all that other delicious stuff that's on raw chicken. Mmm. All over my bare hands. If Jay saw this video, he'd probably have a kitten. Literally, just pop out of his ass. Because he's all like, me. <laughs> Prude. Can't blame him. He had a hand infection like, I don't know, six months ago at this point. Out of nowhere, just for fun. His body was like, meh. -her. So, I've touched worse things than him probably. I, knock on wood, have not gotten any sort of infection. But why not spin, spin the wheel, roll the dice, guys? Love your chicken. Touch your chicken. Just wash your fucking hands right. Ah. And don't pick at things on your hands. And don't, like, cut your cuticles too much. Actually, don't cut your cuticles at all. Just push them back and lotion them really well. Again, 98% of our viewership is men. So, I don't know. Do you guys do your nails? I know some of you have very nice nails, and some of you have really terrible nails. The ones that don't have dirty nails, it's a real turn-off for women. Clean your nails. Turn off. Giant turn off. Ugh. And I've worked in jobs that leave my nails disgusting. But you have to take care of them. I used to work with money. I used to work at a bank. And my hands would just be disgusting when I left. And it's almost impossible to basically count money with gloved hands, so, yeah, no, my hands are always gross. Uh, gotta clean out your fingers, back to your palms, your actual palms. Okay. So, our chicken is now marinated. I put it back in the fridge, figure out what the fuck I'm doing. So in my fridge I found some carrots, one pepper, half an onion, and leftover riced cauliflower. So this is going to be the vegetables in my stir fry. That basically clears up my fridge of all fresh vegetables, which is good because I won't be home for like 48 hours. So in reality, I don't have anything going bad in my fridge. Right? Right. It all works. Yeah, the top of this is looking kind of sad. I'm not going to try to get anything off of it. I'm looking a little sad. Growing up, my mother always bought green peppers. Usually, because, you know, they're the cheapest and whatever. Peppers are peppers. As an adult, I like the, you know, orange, yellow, red combination. I still eat green. Because they're still peppers, whatever. My cousin, Jay, doesn't really do green peppers. He's a hater. So Jay hate in this video. First about the chicken, then about the peppers. Love you cuz. He's not watching this, doesn't matter. I talk about him all I want. Talk shit, yeah. I watch, 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 watch. I watch their videos sometimes. I watch a lot of Z's videos because I like to watch him fuck up and do really retarded shit. And I do read the comments about waiting for M to make this a better version. I think that was on his taco mac and cheese video or something. Whatever the hell that weird 3 a.m. thing was that he concocted. Concoct is a fun word. Concoct. I skipped peeling the carrots on cameras, guys. I'm sorry. Do you really want me to peel carrots on camera? I can. Sure. Whatever floats your boat. But I'm trying to get this done. It's a hair. I think it's one of mine. Cool. Can only be mine, or the weird people at the grocery store dropping their hair and everything. I did wash the pepper before doing this, by the way. I know you're all very concerned, I know. Pepper. Oh, my neck. Is that like a wild ride for you, GoPro viewers? Weird. My terrible kitchen. Uh, 
Oh, my nose is itchy from the pepper from the onions. Yeah, whatever. Cut up the onion shell. I said my first name. Oh no. One day I'll learn how to cut up an onion like a pro. It'll happen. Oh fuck. Onions. This is cooked already and microwaved previously, so I'm just going to add that in at the end. Yeah, I should probably cut these in half, huh? without cutting off my fingers. Yeah, that'll probably cook more easily. God damn it. Piece of carrot went somewhere. <sighs> I'm tired tonight. I'll be up early tomorrow, then I have to go to work, and then blizzard happens, and that's... I'm dreading it. I'm dreading going to work and not coming back home for 36 hours. Dreading it. I really am. Here's a question for the comments. What's long as I've been stuck at work? Go ahead, tell me. I'm assuming most of you that answer longer than a regular shift will be somewhere in, in the medical field and or living on like a barge, like an oil rig. So I can't imagine who else will be living on their job. Okay. Should I steam it first and then add oil to it? Uh, yeah, why not? The carrots are going to take a while anyway. Oh, don't mind the chaos. Lid. Okay, so I'm gonna steam it for a little while, add oil or butter or whatever, finish sauteing it, get a little brown on it, and then do with the chicken. To throw your kitchen ingredients into a pan and yeah, fuck off, I'm tired. Okay, so I took a marinated chicken and I put it in my toaster oven for a few minutes because it was still a little frozen. So this is not fully cooked. Just took the chill off. There's actually quite a bit of fat on these. Should have trimmed them before I marinated them. Laziness. The winner of the day. So, in the interim between the vegetables, you know, steaming, the chicken cooking in the toaster oven, I went to go check out some of my old videos. I came to the realization that one of my videos that I really wanted to upload, I was really excited about it kind of cut itself off in the middle. And by kind of, I mean it cut out like a big portion of the video. I didn't stop it. The video just ends. There's no indication that I pushed the button on top of the GoPro or hit the button on my phone. It just decided to stop. This is totally raw. Um, so now I have a video where I have the beginning and I have the end, but nothing in the middle. So do I upload it? Do I just have to remake the dish? Which, I mean, I don't mind remaking the dish. It's just that I really liked making it the first time and it turned out really good. I'm a little pissed off. Just upload it and say, oops, 
here's a shit video and I upload it with a good video. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's the second time it's happened with my GoPro and I'm getting a little annoyed. GoPro. I'm a little fucking annoyed. The first one I did upload. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna have to <sighs> punch someone in the fucking face. What were the videos you ask? Let's see, the first one was biscuits. Herb biscuits. Which are fucking delicious. I'm definitely gonna make again. And the second one was um lasagna, meat lasagna. Which I've made it forever and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it. It turned out amazing. Ruined. Just ruined. In the middle of browning the meat, it just stops recording. So the entire assembly of my lasagna is not there. Fuck you, GoPro. My cousin and my brother have never had that problem. And I swear to God, I'm not doing anything. I'm not retarded. I'm just, I'm not. Sorry. This is mostly a chicken stir fry, it seems. The chicken to vegetable ratio is very much. Da. Oh well. Right there. This is raw chicken on it. Raw chicken, raw chicken, raw chicken. This is raw chicken. Wash that while I'm at it. I'm still using a bunch of raw chicken. Just gonna add the cauliflower rice. So I'll wait until the fluid gets introduced. Up there for now. I did Clorox wipe my counter in between the chicken and the vegetables, so I will do it again after everything is settled into my pan. I'll clean it again. So cranky! In the lasagna video, during the part that's no longer there, I spent. I spent like 10 minutes questioning the amount of cheese and meat in my lasagna. I questioned it, and I thought to myself, oh god, the, the internet's gonna be like, more! But now, nothing. Nothing! Well, gotta make my lasagna. It's piss me off, universe. Fuck. I've had this bottle of wine in my fridge since I made, I don't remember what I made with this to begin with. My real is? I really want to use it up. So. Fuck it. It's not much wine left. Circle that bad boy. Let that cook off. I'm also going to add these. What was me? Better than bouillon. Worse chicken base. It smells like chicken base. And cook off. Should I make rice to go with this? I guess rice would be the obvious accoutrement. I'm gonna basically let this cook down until it's thickened and most of the wine's gone. And then my chicken's cooked. It's not my night. It's really, it's really not. Um, it's fine, it's all fine. It's all gonna be good. 
fine and good. At least I have food to cook. My sister-in-law got me new socks, and my brother, my other brother, not Zeus. Oh, geisha socks. Because I tend to wear socks with my flip-flops. Only in my house, not in public. There's a distinction. Someone questioned me and said, yeah, but you're going to wear them on camera on your YouTube video. That's like in public. And I was like, no, no. When you're watching this video, you're in my house with me. You're coming into my personal space. Fuck you. <laughs> you're here as a guest. I don't have to film any of this. This is in my house. I do what I want. I'm master of my domain. I'm not walking into your house with socks and slippers, am I? No. Hmm. It's like when people complain to my brother Zeos about the backgrounds on his computer screens being inappropriate. You're choosing to watch his video. So sorry. So sorry. They're really- I mean, they're just anime girls. Scantily dressed, yes. But they're just anime girls. They're cartoons. God's sake. I'm sorry you have children. I'm sorry they look at what you do on your computer or your phone. I don't know. Kind of biased. Growing up, my parents were like... I shouldn't say my parents. My father would, you know, put on Predator and it was fine. Just be like, oh yeah, Predator. Mm -hmm. It was like five. Blue, 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 watching Predator. They taught us really young to understand that that's fiction. It's fake. You can't go around doing that to people. You can't go in a... You know... You can't murder people and you shouldn't, you know, do these terrible things that happen in movies. It's a movie. We watched South Park when it came out, and when South Park came out, I was a child, so... But again, time and place for everything. Time and place. Very important. If you teach your children anything, it's the importance of knowing how to behave in certain situations and how not to behave in those situations. It gets you through life, and without losing your mind. I think it's a my family thing, to be honest. Potty mouth sailors at home and go into the world and I'm not well, I'm not as bad as this, let's just say. I keep my job and do my job and be a respectful human being and I understand that, you know, time and place. This actually smells really good. I'm really excited to eat it. Tomorrow. I'm actually just gonna let it for a bit, make sure the chicken's cooked, let it heat up all the way through. It's pretty soft to cook through, so I'm assuming all the chicken is cooked at this point. I'm gonna add my cauliflower rice. Leave this alone. Give it five minutes. A bit. And call it a day. I'm so annoyed. I'm so fucking annoyed. Arr! It's okay. It's okay. This means I gotta make another lasagna. You know how many calories that lasagna was? Do you know? Still gonna upload it though. I should just film the second lasagna with the layering process of lasagna. That was the important part of lasagna too. It's the most important part. It's how you layer it. <sighs> See you guys in a bit for the tasting of this. Hopefully this is recording right now. Stupid fucking GoPro. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's do the taste test before I pack it this way. I gotta make rice, but I think you guys can make rice, right? Actually, funny story. My friends who are Asian who make rice all the time in rice cookers, literally like, there's never a time in their life where there's not rice in a rice cooker in their house, right? Don't know how to make rice on the stove. <sighs> and I love them, I love my friends, I do. But really guys, it's on the instructions on the bag of rice. And so I know people also who overcook rice or undercook rice every time, no matter what. So maybe I'll make rice on camera. Maybe I will. Fuck it. But for now, I hope that you guys can make rice. <laughs> Hot. Fuck. Fail. Mmm. That's fucking delicious.
considering I threw it together from random shit in my fridge. I feel like if you have the ingredients I used, something soy based, some sesame oil, um, a little sriracha, garlic, you can basically make a stir fry and make it delicious with vegetables and onions and meat. Mm hmm. And I used all the ingredients I wanted to use to clear out my fridge. Well played, universe. Well played. As long as it's actually recorded. That's all, folks. If you like the stuff we do, go check out our Patreon. I'm sure there's a link somewhere in the description. If you don't like what we do, why are you watching this? Morbid curiosity? I know, I'm sorry. Continue being morbidly curious, though. And I'll see you next time.